Independent National Electoral Commission Office in Takai local government area of Kano State has reportedly been gutted by fire. It was gathered that the incident happened around 9.30 a.m. on Sunday when some unidentified persons started beating people which forced election observers, journalists and INEC officials to scamper for safety and hide in the ceiling but the talk set the office on fire. One of the victims and a journalist from the area, Saleh Nasco, said the suspects were believed to be followers of one of the political parties. The victim, who is currently hospitalized with various degrees of injury, said the suspected attackers, namely Gaba Gambu, Shiu, Namaka, and Abdullahi Daj Jalingo, were arrested and an unidentified one was at large. The attack comes as the coalition officer of the local government was waiting for the several uh, waiting for the arrival of the last two worlds, Takai and Katachu, before announcing the official results of yesterday's presidential and national assembly elections. He said they were rescued by men of the military. He said we have learned that the attack doesn't even affect the election results, said the victim. When contacted, the public, the police public relations officer in Kano, SP Abdullahi Haruna, confirmed the incident. He said the fire was set up at the generator house behind the office building, but it was put off immediately. It was from the generator house the, that they put out the fire. It was already brought under control and security operatives have been intensified in the area, he said. Okay, hmm, it's not related to the results for the election of yesterday, so it's as what let the anger of God before all those desperate, evil minded sponsors of confusion in Nigeria. Thank you, Kano. The only people giving Heineck what they deserve, southerners, they hear they speak English. Heineck is part of our problem, they deserve anything they get after this election. Are you seeing this because Obi is winning? If Obi is not declared the winner of the elections, the country will be divided. Nigeria will never change until all the old politicians are flushed out of this country. Youth should rise and take their country. Hey, and take their country back. Don't be deceived. Even the youth that you are talking about. See, I don't even believe in it, whether they are old or not. People who are bad are bad. So you want to tell me the youth, are they not even worse? They are even worse than the old people you are talking about. They have... They, they, they have children. These wicked people you are talking about, they have children. So that we still have some old people who are still, who still have integrity, who are still okay. But you still have, so it's, you think it's all about the youth. We are talking of people who, with integrity, people with, who are pa uh, 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 patriots. You are talking about the youth. The youth are even the worst. You can imagine, are they, when you look at uh, the one that uh, is leading the Jagaban army, you see an old person. He's not an old person. He's a youth. All this uh, the Jadinian youth that are speaking, uh, when I when I hear that guy, eh, I'm I'm always shocked. So what do you really want in this country? Is is it, that guy is defending and supporting Tinumbu to the to the core? This is the same guy that was against the bullion van was talking about the corruption of this man all of a sudden. So you want to tell me? Let's even be sincere to ourselves. When people say some people are ethnic by God, you begin to wonder, mm, it might not be so. But let's not even just put it like that it is not even, uh, they are not just uh, being tribalistic. So you want to tell me that they G put, um, what is it called, Obi and Tinumbu side by side, that in the real sense, will he be able to, will he open his heart and tell us that really, if he's in a, a place where system works, he will choose a Tinumbu over Obi? Is that what you are telling me? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nigeria is not right for democracy. Let the military rule. Nigeria will be like I go to to find, out, find my way to immigration office by next week. International passports, here I come. Because it's true. Are you going to be blaming people who are jack buying? Mm, people should stay back. Somebody, I, I saw one post by one, uh, whether one of these uh, celebrities or whatever uh, they call them, was saying that a lady was say ah those who are jack buying eh, they are not patriotic enough why are you running to people should stay back i always say it. the numbers of nigerians going outside the country and the ones that are in the country the ones inside are men more than the one going outside out of the country 
Then now you see people they came out. When some people come out and tell you, Oh, ah, I'm not ready to waste my time. My votes do not count. My my votes does not count. It won't count. People see encourage them go. Now people came out and a lot of people a lot of people stayed back at I uh, at uh, pulling uh, units yesterday that until when they sit to the end, when INEC could not even come on time, they didn't meet up with the time. And people waited in night. So you want, tell, you want to tell me that uh, those people are not patriotic enough or those people are not fighting for their distant country enough. They have done their own part. At the end of the day, what do you expect them to do? Mm -hmm. Well, this election will bring problems to Nigeria. Nigeria, only God can repair Nigeria. APC have started the game just because Kwakwansu is winning. It has been a normal rituals in Kano, burning INEC offices and killing of INEC staff 2015 still on my mind. When you see the headline, okay, you think it is an accident. Hey, if it happened in the east, the headline will be boldly read. Set ablaze, burnt down by suspect IPOP and ESN operatives. Okay, I get you. The worst election and the worst INEC chairman in the history of Nigeria. Election is war in Nigeria. The worst election in Nigeria history. The way some people are taking this election as if bad or good leadership affects only opposition parties. You see this uh, kind of called Niger uh, this country called Nigeria. I bet if it will, I bet if it will ever get better. A country where yesterday has always been better than tomorrow. Why can't we just do the things the right way in this country? May God have His way, because the aftermath of the election is not even funny anymore. Mm. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.